तो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द वीडियो सो रिसेंटली सम स्टूडेंट्स आज ऑन माई चैनल टू टेल दैम अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट दैट देर नीड टू स्टडी इन दिस सेकेंड ईयर सो दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट दैट यू नीड टू स्टडी इन दिस इन योर सेकेंड ईयर सो दिस वीडियो इज गॉन आंसर थ्री क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वॉट आर द सब्जेक्ट्स दैट यू नीड टू स्टडी इन योर सेकेंड ईयर सेकेंड वॉट आर द टफ सब्जेक्ट्स एमंग दैम थर्ड एंड लास्ट फ्रॉम वेयर यू कैन स्टडी दीज सब्जेक्ट्स एंड लर्न so everything i provided every link for ppts and all i provided in the description you can go and watch out videos you can also watch out my video for subjects that you need to study in your first year yeah that's all for the video let's get started so, subjects for second year are so basically this is divided into third sem and fourth sem so first in third sem these were the subjects are there you might be thinking why these many subjects so basically Uh, wherever it is written take in any sem that means you can either take it in third sem and fourth sem if you count all the credits of these subjects it will be more than 27 and you can't take credits more than 27 you can take credits between 16 to 27 so starting with the subjects firstly the subject is coa which is computer organization and star architecture it is an easy easy subject it is a part 3 Firstly, first year you studied two ECS ECE subjects, and in two one this is another subject which is ECE which you have to study. Next comes the discrete mathematical structure which is a math subject. I won't say it is difficult but it's moderate. Next come data structures and al algorithm which is very important for your placement journey. DSA questions will come into your placement. So I think in second year this is the subject which is more uh, most important for you so that you are placement ready. if you focus more on the concepts which are told in your class in these in this subject talking about the concepts which are there in data structures and algorithm let me just show you they are time and space complexity stacks array linked list queues searching and sorting techniques these are the few basic sorry these are the few concepts that you will be told in your dsa subjects and yeah you can just study those subject whether you study through youtube or uh, your teacher is teaching in your class next comes the subject entrepreneurship design thinking ethics and values so ethics and values is zero credit course you have to take it it doesn't matter from which core or specialization you are in you have to take it no matter what it is a compulsory subject entrepreneurship design thinking are simple subjects on entrepreneurship you just have to prepare presentations for some domain that you have taken in design thinking you have to you having some other modules like you have to make journey mapping mind mapping etc like those concepts will be there then comes the getting started to skill enhancement it is, so it is a subject is an aptitude subject then comes the engineering clinics so what is engineering clinics basically in this you have to make a project where you have prototype as well as you make sure that the prototype works according to the software and what how software and all so you have to take choose this project either in raspberry pi you have to do it or in arduino it depends on you in second year we did in uh, raspberry pi now in third year we did in arduino you have to take this subject in both the years once you have to take in second year and uh, once you have to take in third year so if you want to know more about this subject you can watch the video Uh, which is given in the description you can watch the video that is about engineering clinics what you have to do how you have to do everything is there next come operating system you can take it in any sem and this is uh, a subject which is important in terms of placements you will be asked questions regarding that then comes a specialized subject what does it mean it means for example i have uh, my specialization is software engineering so that means i have to start taking subjects related to my spe specialization in second year from third sem so this is if you are from software engineering you have to take software engineering in fourth sem another software engineering subject you have to which is agile development and later on till your eighth sem you will be having these specialized subjects if you are from specialization if you are not if you have some if you have from core and all you i don't think you have to take it in third sem as of now and wherever it is written take in any sem that means you can take it in any sem but that doesn't mean you have to take in other sem only try to take as much credits as possible only and i will suggest try taking 22 or 24 minimum credits in every sem so that by the end of the uh, your btech you are done with the credits because in specialization you will get 160 credits and in core you will get 150 credits and i i think in specialization you have to do 10 more so better you take many credits early as possible Okay, this is this is all about the third sem. Now let's talk about fourth sem. 
In fourth sem, the subjects that are compulsory to take they are applied statistics, math subject, database management system, which is nothing but DBMS. Next comes enhancing problem skills, is an aptitude subject. Next come specialized subjects. As I told if you are from special software engineering, you have to take agile here. If you are from AI, here you have to take artificial intelligence, and here you have to take machine learning. It depends on specialization and core which you have taken. And it doesn't mean that this Sam only have these many subjects. You can also take these subjects here if you did not get that slot during your course registration, or you can take some extra courses also uh, from some university elective or program elective. So I think that much is for this uh, subjects that you need to study in your third sem, fourth sem. Now let me talk about the subjects which are difficult in your third sem. So in your third sem, the first subjects which are difficult are firstly COA, secondly DSA, thirdly operating system is difficult, and specialized subject whichever you will have it will be difficult. I think these are the four subjects which are difficult and DMS is also is not that easy it's moderate I will say. So these are the five subjects which you will which you have to focus more on. Now let me talk about the fourth sem. Applied states is easy subjects like basically mean median mode some other theorems will be there that you have to solve. DBMS is moderate mo moderate in a specialized subject that means in this two subjects in a, uh, DBMS and a specialized subject which will be difficult as compared to others. Okay. There are three, these are the first two websites Gate with Dial and Java Deep Point from where you can study and Gate smashes the YouTube channel from where next come the DSA. For DSA I included five resources Geeks for Geeks, Java Deep Point, Jenny's lecture, Apna College and Gate Station. Last three are the YouTube lectures that you can watch and refer for DSA. Next come the DMS, I uh, have included two YouTube playlists, Niso, Niso Academy and MKS Tutorials. Operating Systems, Gates Meshes and Niso Academy, you will find all the content which you need in, in your subject. Next come the Applied Statistics, for Applied I included only once because I got only one link. Next come the DBMS, DBMS also these are the three playlists, YouTube playlists, you can go and watch it out for these subjects. So that's all from this video and I hope you are clear with the subjects that you need in your second year. In case you have any doubt just comment down below. It will I will be very happy to answer your questions. So that's all from the video. Let's meet in some other video. Thank you for watching the video.